So many people believe we've explored most of Earth, but there's a secret world right beneath the waves that's deeper, darker, and more mysterious than anything on land. Welcome to Spin of Facts. Did you know that parts of our ocean are so deep they make Mount Everest look short? Today, we're diving into depths few humans have ever seen. Stick around, because the bottom of the ocean will absolutely blow your mind. Let's head straight into Earth's final frontier. Let's dive in. Height of the Empire State Building. When you compare the ocean's depth to the height of man-made marvels like the Empire State Building, the numbers start to get seriously mind-blowing. The Empire State Building stands at 443 meters, if you include its antenna. Now picture Ahmed Gaber's world record dive to 332 meters. That's just 111 meters shy of the Empire State Building's height. But it's already considered one of the most extreme scuba dives ever achieved by a human. Recreational scuba divers rarely go beyond 40 meters, and even trained professionals consider anything beyond 100 meters incredibly risky. The deeper you go, the more dangerous the pressure becomes. Water can crush your lungs, rupture your eardrums, or cause nitrogen narcosis. Blue whales, the largest animals on Earth, can reach 500 meters in depth, and emperor penguins dive to around 535 meters. And all of this still doesn't even touch the average depth of the ocean, which is more than 4,000 meters. When we compare the ocean's vertical scale to our tallest buildings or deepest dives, we realize just how little of it we've actually touched. That Empire State Building, in the grand scheme of the ocean, it's just a tiny blip. As deep as it feels standing at the top of that skyscraper, the ocean beneath us stretches miles deeper full of cold, crushing blackness and mysteries still waiting to be discovered. It's humbling, eerie, and awe-inspiring all at once. Just wait until we go even deeper. Things get stranger from here. The Abyssal Zone. Once you descend past 4,000 meters, you enter the Abyssal Zone, a part of the ocean where sunlight simply doesn't exist. It's dark, pitch back, and the temperature drops to just a few degrees above freezing. This part of the ocean makes up a massive percentage of the seafloor, yet we know almost nothing about it. The pressure here? It's no joke. Reaching over 11,000 pounds per square inch, enough to flatten almost anything unprotected. But here's the wildest part. Life exists down here. We're talking about creatures that would look right at home in a horror movie. Fangtooth fish with menacing jaws, viper fish with needle-like fangs, and anglerfish that lure prey with glowing bioluminescent bait. These aren't sci-fi monsters. They're real animals, adapted to survive in this hostile environment. They've evolved slowly, perfectly tuned to the darkness, the cold, and the crushing pressure. And despite being in one of the most extreme habitats on Earth, they thrive. Even the wreckage of the Titanic rests here at about 3,800 meters, giving us just a glimpse into what's possible when we explore deeper. The Abyssal Zone is like nature's own alien planet, complete with strange ecosystems, resilient species, and geological formations that boggle the mind. It's a place where time feels frozen and the rules of biology are rewritten. The deeper we go, the more we realize we've only scratched the surface of our own world. And if you think this is deep, wait until you see what comes next in the Hadal Zone. It's truly next level. The Hadal Zone Once you plunge beyond 6,000 meters, you've officially crossed into the Hadal Zone, named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld. That name fits perfectly because this is the ocean's most terrifying and alien region. The pressure down here is beyond intense, over 1,100 atmospheres. Imagine the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing down on you. And yet, life still finds a way to exist. There are over 40 known ocean trenches around the world, and each one has its own eerie personality. In these black, ice-cold depths, bizarre creatures like ghostly snailfish and shrimp-like amphipods drift along the seafloor. There's no sunlight, no plants, and no oxygen-rich currents. So how do they survive? Many feed on marine snow, which is basically organic material slowly drifting down from the upper ocean. Others rely on chemosynthesis, a process where bacteria convert chemicals from hydrothermal vents into energy. We're talking about life that evolved to survive in a pressure cooker version of the underworld. And humans? 
we barely scratched the surface. Most submersibles can't survive down here without serious engineering, which is why Hadal research is so rare and expensive. But when we do manage to get down there, it's like entering an alien world on our own planet. Every new discovery down here changes what we thought we knew about biology and resilience. It's not just deep, it's unreal. These trenches are Earth's secret caves, hiding life forms we've never seen before. Now we're diving into how humans have braved this black abyss using technology like the DSV Alvin. DSV Alvin. Exploring the deep sea isn't just dangerous, it's almost impossible without serious tech. That's where DSV Alvin comes in. Launched in 1964, Alvin is one of the most famous manned submersibles in history, capable of diving to depths of 6,500 meters. That's deep enough to explore the abyssal and parts of the Hadal zones. It's made with a titanium sphere to withstand unimaginable pressure, and it fits just three people at a time. Over the decades, Alvin has completed more than 5,000 dives making historic visits to hydrothermal vents and even the wreck of the Titanic in 1986. What makes Alvin special isn't just its depth range, it's how it changed the game in ocean exploration. With robotic arms, sampling tools, and high-definitive cameras, Alvin can collect specimens and video footage from places humans could never survive. Its discoveries have led to groundbreaking studies on deep-sea life, geology, and the origins of ocean ecosystems. It's also proven just how much we still don't know about the ocean's depths. Every time Alvin dives, we discover new species, odd behaviors, or strange vents spewing chemical-rich water that supports life without sunlight. Alvin shows us that with enough innovation, we can explore the most extreme parts of our own planet. It's basically our deep-sea time machine, letting us travel into the darkest parts of Earth's story. And speaking of history, let's rewind to one of the boldest dives ever. The 1960 journey to the bottom of the ocean by Don Walsh and Jacques Picard. 1960 Don Walsh. Back in 1960, two brave men made history by diving deeper than anyone had ever dared before. Don Walsh, a U.S. Navy officer, and Jacques Picard, a Swiss oceanographer, took a tiny vessel called the Trieste to Challenger Deep, the very bottom of the Mariana Trench. That's nearly 11,000 meters down, a place where pressure reaches over 1,000 times what we feel on the surface. To put it in perspective, that's like stacking 50 Boeing 747S on top of you. The journey took nearly five hours to descend and was incredibly risky. During the dive, one of the outer window panes cracked under the pressure, but they still continued all the way down. Once they reached the bottom, they only stayed for about 20 minutes before resurfacing. But those 20 minutes changed everything. It proved that humans could reach the deepest point on Earth and survive. No one else reached Challenger Deep again for over 50 years until James Cameron's solo dive in 2012. Walsh and Picard's journey wasn't just a scientific milestone. It was a moment of human courage and curiosity. Their vessel didn't have the advanced tech we have today. It was more like a floating steel ball powered by sheer guts and engineering genius. Their mission opened the door for future exploration and sparked global interest in what lies beneath the sea. In a world where space travel gets all the attention, Walsh and Picard reminded us that some of Earth's greatest adventures are still happening right here, miles below the ocean's surface. We've plunged past skyscrapers, past strange fish, and into Earth's most mysterious trenches and we've only just begun to understand what lies below. Thanks for exploring with Spin of Facts. Got thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments. I read every single one. Share this with a friend who needs to see this. Subscribe now so you don't miss what's coming next. Trust me, it's worth it. There's a whole hidden world still waiting to be revealed. Stay curious and keep diving deep.